Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've come on today um, to share this perpetual calendar tutorial. Oh god, sorry. Um, my husband's at work, at, at work, gone to football at the minute so I'm really just trying to get this up as quickly as I can if you like. So I'm using the stars that I received from Jo, um, surprise creation dies. And yeah, we're just going to go get on and make it. <laughs> Oh dear, right, I've probably lost the plot already, but I just need to measure this. Right, just one minute. Right, I might need to cut a little bit off, but I'm <clears throat> we'll come to that in a minute. So to make the casing piece, you're going to need a piece of card that measures 7 inches by 3 and 7 eighths. And on the long side, all you're going to do is score at one and three quarter inches and five and a quarter inches. And then you're just going to turn it onto the short side and score, can't really see my mark now, one and three quarter inches and five and one and three quarter inches and three and a half. Right. And we'll come to that in a minute. So then you just want to fold and burnish. I've used quite a thick card because it's going to be the base so you want you want it to hold. You don't want to use really thin stuff. So then we need some scissors and it's really really easy. All you're going to do is cut off, oh don't do that, <laughs> on the thin bit where the thin end is. You just want to cut up to the first score line. Okay, and very, very minutely cut into it. So you've just got a little V. And then you could just cut a bit off. Okay, so then you want to repeat that. So on the short side, on that very thin strip at the bottom, cut up to that first score line and very slightly notch in. Okay. And then just take a little wedge piece off. Right, so that's what is going to fold up there and make that front bit. Then what you're going to do is just cut up them two, all right, on both sides. Okay, and then they're just going to fold up and that one is going to fold in like that. So let me just see, right that's what we're going to do. So taking your glue, you want to turn it over and run some, run some glue on the inside and then just pull it up level best that you can and then what we're going to do then is cover this side in glue and then bring this one over and across All right. That's what you're going to do, and that is what you'll have, like that. So then you can bring in your bone folder and just burnish that down. Then you're just going to repeat it again. So, on the little tab, put some glue on. And fold that over. And then glue on this one and bring that across like, like so. Sorry about that, one of my daughters came in. So that's what you're going to have. There's your little box. Okay. So then you want some little strips and they want to measure three and three eighths the back and then two more 
that measure one and five eighths by one and five eighths and then we'll just glue these on and then if you want to do the inside as well you just want to cut the same again I'm not going to do the inside this time or oh, I might do I just don't cut them out I forgot okay And then you want a thin strip, and that's going to measure one quarter, just a quarter of an inch by three and three eighths. Okay. And then these are going to sit on the sides. And that thin strip will just sit along the bottom. Okay, so you've got that. Actually, I think what I will do is just cut the more out. Oh, I think I will. When I've stuck this strip on, I'll just go off camera and cut the others out. And then you want to put this along the bottom. Like that. Okay, so just a sec. Okay, so I've just quickly gone ahead and I've cut those. So that's your little tray. And I've already gone ahead. You know, I'm not going to find it. I've already gone ahead and just made one of the cubes that's going to sit in the tray there like that. And I have cut the star out. I've done it in a nice green foil. That is going to sit behind like that. Okay, so we'll get on and we'll make this next piece okay let's pop my lid on there so you want to score this on the short side at one and three quarters three and a quarter and then turn on to the long side and score at one and three quarters three and a quarter, four and seven eighths, and then six and a half. I just, <laughs> just a minute. One minute. Yeah, and then six and a half, okay? So then what we're going to do Just a second. Right, we're just going to do that again. I was just rudely interrupted by a little girl. <laughs> right, so seven inches by four and seven eighths, okay? Yeah, I think I've written it down. Right, just a minute. I think I have written it down. Now, this is what all of us crafters do, you see. We make mistakes. Right, so one and five eighths. Score at one and five eighths. On the long side, one and five eighths, three and a quarter, four and seven eighths, and six and a half. So I think I did, it was the first one I did wrong, that's why. Turn it onto the short side. And score at one and five eighths, and then three and a quarter. So here we go. I put my first mark at one and three quarters instead of one and five eighths. So then, what you need to do, so I do apologise about that, is just fold and score on all of the fold and burnish all of your score lines I think I've been a bit out of practice <laughs> see I make things and I never write the measurements down and then I do sometimes and then you're just having to go back and work it all out what you did okay so on the bottom up to the first score line and notch out that small rectangle 
and do that for the top side as well. All right. And then all you're going to do is cut down all three score lines. And then this is what's going to make our box. And then turn it around and just repeat. Right. And then what you want to do is fold that over and glue that bit. So on that little tab, we're gluing that. So just hold it for a minute. And then you can just burnish that down and then all you need to do then is just like any box but there's going to be no top is just folding the two sides you can put glue on all of them folding the back and folding the front try it that way so that's what i'm going to do they're all going to be covered up anyway so just folding that up And then just press that down a bit. And then you want to do the same thing. And then close that one. Is that one better? Right. So you're just closing them all up, really. And then what you need to do is cut yourself some squares and I haven't left any gaps around this one I did on that one but I've cut mine at one and five eighths by one and five eighths but just just cut them at one and a half by one and a half if you want a little gap going around the edge so now all you need to do is just glue them all on to your box don't want to watch me do this just fast forward okay so what I'll do actually is I will pause it and do them off camera and then I'll come back okay so I'm back and all the boxes are they have got all the paper on so now we're just going to stick this in and all I'm going to do is just use these two to stick it on so just making it even space and then there we go let me just check yep so just press them down and then your little cubes should sit nicely inside like that. And then all that's left is to just pop the numbers on the cubes. So the numbers that I've got, um, I didn't, they were the only ones I could find and they're just these glitter ones. Um, so they do bulk it out a little bit, which does push my sides out a little smidge. But if you've got a die, a number die, then do that and it will all stay flat. I did think I would cut out um, like a circle. I could cut out, not that one, where is it? A circle. But you probably would need a circle that's like about that size and I, I don't know I just didn't really like the look of it and then stick the number on so you could do that which will stand out your number more um, I'm not going to do it because when you see it anyway you can see the number for me or if you've got red numbers probably would be better for them to stand out so I'm going to take these out and get sticking the numbers the same 
so I know that you need two ones or shall I do it I don't know hmm. so you're gonna need two ones and these are fiddly numbers when you've got nails so is that gonna still show yes it is so there's my one so you do need two ones like I say and there's the other one you know because I'm on camera I'm just not going to be able to do it hang on Right, what I'm going to do is pause it and then come back. Okay, so I've nearly put them all on. Um, they are a bit fiddly, these, and they do rip. So really much better if you've got a die. Right, so that's that one. And then this one. Let's just <laughs> So we've got a one and a two. Uh, a zero, a two, and a one. An eight. And then we have an eight, one, so we need a seven. A seven. And uh, that is it. And there we go. So let me just put these ones back. So we've got that one, let's move all this out of the way and then I bet this video has gone on for ages as well, is it still recording? <laughs> right so we've got, let's put a one in there and let's put a four, a one and we'll put another one. So you can see they do go in with those numbers and there's the numbers and that's 22 so yeah they do fit in but I would have preferred to have done it with dies so that's the little calendar for December all decorated I hope you enjoyed it I'm so sorry it's gone on for quite um, some time but hopefully you'll be able to get one made before too far in December so thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time Bye.